and today's video is going to be very important it's going to be about an external antenna for the uh, sharp ladder and I'm going to show you why you need an external antenna if you want accuracy when I have navigating between channels uh, maybe if you're in wide open sea you don't feel the difference but you in channels there's markers the sharp ladder is off sometimes 15 30 feet it might say there's a marker right there but the marker's way over there 20 30 feet why is that so I call Garmin Garmin said is your accuracy on your internal antenna which the internal antenna of the sharp ladder is really not that accurate uh, if you're in open ocean is great because if you're off 20 30 feet it doesn't matter but it doesn't matter if you're looking for a wreck or if you're looking for a specific reef it does matter because you're not going to find it so today we're going to try this external antenna to see if it makes any difference look what it looks like it's really small look at this it's a beauty really small and it's connected to the enemy a2000 which is very simple all you do is connect it to the enemy a2000 comes with a cable which is a really long cable if you're going to mount it outside and you have to be careful when you mount this because it has to be three feet away from an antenna vhf antenna and three feet away from a radar you can mount it indoors with this mount right here or you can mount it outdoors wherever you like but i want to try mount it indoor you put it in here see that and then double-sided tape i will remove this double-sided tape later and if i like to have it indoors i will put a better adhesive so today we're going to test it indoors to see what's the range of the antenna and we're going to test it outdoors to see if it's a huge difference if it's a huge difference then i will mount it outdoors but i'd rather not open more holes in top of my pilot house i'd rather have this indoors so let's see what the difference is let's check it out so if you look here the sharp ladder go to settings go to systems and go to gps 20 feet variance of my boat and these are the satellites that i'm getting so it's not that accurate when you have 20 feet of variance 20 feet is a lot uh, especially when you're going through channels uh, 20 feet you can hit a marker if you guide yourself with this so let's test now right now it's 20 feet let's test the garment external antenna indoors and outdoors to see if it improves all right so i'm thinking about mounting the antenna right up here to see how well it does and the enemy a2000 backbone is right here so it's really close so i gotta do is get this wire right through here and test it indoors so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test it indoors all right so in order to connect the antenna to the anime 2000 we have to use this splitter here all right we're going to disconnect this terminator right here we're going to connect it in this side here and then we're going to connect it right here terminator is very important because if you don't plug it in the system will not work it doesn't complete the system cycle all right it's in so now so now we're going to connect the enemy 2000 cable That's it, it's connected. So now I have this very long wire that I can play with it. I can go outside, turn the radar on, turn the V-Chef antenna, see if there's any interference uh, before I mount it permanently. All right, so I'm gonna place the antenna in here and I'm gonna connect the enemy A2000 cable. All right, we're gonna put it right here. So now let's see the results in the sharp plotter. All right, we're gonna go to settings, systems, GPS. We press source right now. We're going to try the build in antenna. It's 25 feet of accuracy. Let's change the source. Look at this. It's 6.5 feet of accuracy. And when we go back to the built in, we get 25. That is a huge difference on the accuracy. All right, right now we got six feet of accuracy. That's very accurate. So now we're going to try it outside to see if we get a better reception all right let's take it outside all right so right now we get 5.44 it is a very small difference it has improved very little uh, from having it from indoor to outdoors the difference is not that much much difference uh, to open holes on top of the pilot house and run that wire up there I rather have it inside the pilot house now I place some Loctite marine adhesive and I'm going to place it 100% here. Put some tape to keep it in place. 
and that's going to stay put. Put some more tape. All right, I'm gonna give this marine adhesive about two hours, connect the wire, and that's it, it's all done. All right, so it's proven that the internal antenna of the sharp platter is not the best. It's really inaccurate. Having this external antenna is gonna give you 85 to 90% better satellite communication with your sharp platter. And also, the autopilot now is gonna function a lot better. Like I said, if it's a marker right at the bow of the boat, it's going to be 15 feet off the boat to one side to the left or to the right that's not accuracy for the autopilot to auto guide so the auto guide of the autopilot needs to be very accurate reading on your location to avoid markers uh, buoys or whatever on the way right so that's something that I experienced on my last trip I went boating and the chart plotter was getting real close to the pylons or the markers and it was because it was way off. It was not getting an accurate reading. Like I said, it's 15 to 20 feet off. And in a small channel, that is a problem with their markers. So now having four to six feet instead of 15 to 20 feet is gonna be a lot more accurate on the autopilot. And I'll be able to navigate a lot better, avoiding those obstructions, especially using the auto guidance. All right, guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you need an external antenna for your Garmin, I also will place the link in the description below of this one. This is the latest one that Garmin has made for the uh, Garmin chart plotters. It's really good. And now this is gonna help me use my auto guide more precise, uh, look for those reefs, look for those wrecks more accurate. Because if you have a wreck that is only 20 feet and your chart plotter is 20 feet off, you're gonna miss it. In some occasions I have seen wrecks on my chart plotter and I go look for them. I'm right on top. There's nothing. You know why? It's 15, 20 feet off to the right or to the left. So that's why I haven't been able to see it. So now I'm only gonna be four to six feet difference. It's gonna be easier to spot those wrecks. So that is a plus. And I'll keep making videos on more electronics in the future that help us navigate better. As boat captains, we always want to improve on navigation um, and keep updated with the new technologies out there. So thank you for watching and always navigate safe.